sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to cut out your sewing pattern pieces on lace fabric. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. In my last video tutorial I showed you how to do lay planning onto lace fabric and the next step on from that is once you've pinned it into, pla into place, remember you're pinning into the seam allowance, is to cut out now I'm going to be using a technique called applique seams and what that is is that I'm going to be cutting around my motifs and I'm going to be joining it to the back section to this front and that will allow me to continue the repetition of the design that's in my lace. So what I'm going to do is get my scissors, cut around about a couple of millimetres away from the actual motif itself all the way around. I'm now cutting out the sewing pattern and what I've done here is I've cut it along the seam edge of the pattern piece itself and then as I'm coming around the motif I'm going a couple of meters away from the actual design and it's a, it's, it's a slow process not too slow it all depends on the kind of design that you've got in your lace but it's important that you do leave a couple of millimeters away from the actual motif itself and I'm going to continue going all the way around these and then I'll come back to you. I'm now happy with the cut that I've made to my sewing pattern and the motifs and the next thing I need to do um, is put a temporary stitch in which is called thread tracing so I'm just using a single thread and I'm going to hand sew just around the motif this will aid me when I actually come to join this pattern piece to the section which is going to be the back and I'll be able to see the actual motifs and where it's going to be placed and it's a good idea to do this. So I'm going to go all the way around, as I said it's just a temporary stitch so it will be removed and it's best to use contrasting thread so that you can actually see it when you join it onto the next section. Now I'm happy with the thread tracing around my motifs and the next step to do is to take out your pins and just place your pins by the side, the, the edge of your sewing patterns when you're doing this. I'll tell you why in a moment. Just get that on there. Because I need to do another thread tracing and this is going to be the seam line for the garment so you get accuracy when you actually join it to the next section. So we need to make sure that I'm doing a 1.5 centimeters or 5 eighths of an inch. And again, it can be a case of get your little gauge, get your pin there, press it against your pin, just take it out, and then just place it into the seam line and do the same with the rest. Just makes it a little bit easier for when you actually come to doing your seam line and then again it's just thread tracing I've used a different color thread which is probably a good idea you wouldn't have to it's all about how you want to make sure that you get that accuracy that you do need when you're actually um working with lace and you can actually see your work when you're attaching it to the next section of your garment My pattern piece is now cut out. I've got the yellow thread that represents the seam line of the garment and the red thread that's just representing the shape of the motif. So when I come to join this section to the back section, I should be able to see both of these tracings. Well, I hope you found that video tutorial of help. In another video, I'll be showing you applied seam technique which is related to what I've just shown you in this video with the motifs being part of the pattern that adjoins the side seam of any particular part of your garment. So do be aware to watch out for that one. If you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.